hi fellow queens and lovely ladies this is a good one i mean you want to see how i did this <laughs> Yeah, so this is a Rapunzel video. I am a style consultant for Rapunzel and uh, I'm going to be very happy to show you my take on that picture, the girl with the pearl earring. So there have been um, tutorials on this one before, which are more like the classic approach, really recreating that look. I'm going to have those videos linked, or it's just one, I think, um, in the description box. Now, because that has been done and that has been well done, so what I'm doing is my take on it, my spin of this picture. And um, I'm really loving it and it is so me. And if you're interested in how I did that, then just keep on watching. Hi friends. Okay, so this is gonna be really exciting because I'm taking a lot of liberty on this look, um, but you shall see. First of all, I want to start it with taking my necklace off because it always interferes with my audio and it'll go back on for the finished look, of course. Let's just turn to the side and start. I'm wearing the Wendy Shaper. It's fully stuffed and I'm not wearing it down like this, which I'm starting to love a lot, but I'm wearing it a little bit further up for this look. I think it is more, you know, it just fits to that look. So it's sort of pointing a little bit more up. And first thing, I want to put down my two-in-one. And this is what I got in my package from last week. So I'm going to link that video uh, in the description box or in the cards. Anyway, so this is a two-in-one and I love it so much because it gives you the coverage you need, but it is so lightweight, it's like, it's unbelievable. So because we're just putting that down in order to cover the shaper, first of all, and also to uh, hold the other scarves in place, which you will see in a second. So I'm just going to put that down with both ends hanging down equally, more or less. Oh, and I love this look. Now, how does that look? <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> and I'm just crossing it over in the back and leaving it like this. So let's just sort out the edges a little bit and, and then we are already ready for the hard part, <laughs> which is not super hard, but um, it's worth it. Just give it a try, okay? The next thing, is I'm taking the Dreams Come True scarf. And I also, I shot this on my un unboxing video because it's so beautiful. Of course, you can take any kind of lace or not even that, you can take whatever you want, depending on what kind of look you want to create. But I knew, I just knew I have to feature this scarf. This is gonna be the first one I have to feature. <laughs> anyway, I'm putting that because you see, there is like a left side and a right side. At least that's how we say it in German, left side and right side. So this is basically the side that you want people to see. Anyway, um, so I'm putting that with the left side up over my head, like this. Okay. <laughs> like this and sort of about hanging down at you know the same length more or less and then I'm taking the green New York brights and doing the same thing and just putting it on top of it okay are we good till here <laughs> so now I'm taking the ends that are hanging down here from the two-in-one and tightening them over that, just like that, and binding it in the back. Let me just move this to the side so I can see you. <laughs> so I'm just binding it in the back, and that's it for now. <laughs> now this is again the stage in the wrapping that I always go through. If you've watched my tutorials, then you, you 
you must recognize this spot when I think, whoa, I really want to stay like this. <laughs> because hello I mean is that cool or is that cool so we can do something with that too some other time now what I want to do is I want to create more volume here and well first of all we have to sort this out okay so here we basically have the dreams come true scarf that is now with the left side up I am just going to turn that around switch it here where it is stuck in the two-in-one and just turn it around so it's with the right side up and you can do that because it's secured here so it's really no problem sorry for not looking at you I'm looking at the mirror if you're new here this is where my mirror is <laughs> okay so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to flip the the sides a little bit inward but you don't have to do that I just want this to be like a centerpiece like on a wedding table <laughs> so now we have this here of the New York brides and now I'm going to use the same technique that we use at the um, what's it called the side ruffle wrap I'm just just going to pull it once through the uh, two-in-one just once like that and fluff it up in order to create the volume that I want. That's that's all I'm I'm going to do with this here. And I want to have that volume like right here on top of my head. <laughs> now I'm taking this second uh, part of the Dreams Come True scarf and flip it towards the back like that over this puff that we have here and I'm sorting out the like the folds and everything the way I want it to be and that's really the beautiful thing that nothing is going to move no no matter what you're going to create now on top of your head nothing is going to move because it's so secure because of the two-in-one so it's just really perfect because if you have a lot to do and you cannot constantly fix your your scarf then uh, and you still want to be like special and out there then then that's the thing to do anyway so what I want to do here is I'm going to tuck that in slightly into the two-in-one here because I want to prevent it from falling all the way to the front I want this whole veil to be center and back okay so I'm doing that on both sides now is this special or what like <laughs> and we're not even done yet okay like that oh I just want to stay like this <laughs> really okay so now I am taking the shiny lishes, ta -da. and that is basically the only part that is somewhat close to the original video or to the original picture because the girl with the pearl earring has something like that right here centered and um, of course not shiny but um, anyway nobody's perfect. <laughs> For me it has to be shiny and bold so um but you can always tune that whole look down and just use you know browns and golds or or whatever you know whatever you want like you don't have to be me but i most certainly have to be me <laughs> so now what i just did was i folded the shiny lishes and now i'm placing this down let me think from the bottom up so I'm placing it at the back of my head like that with both ends hanging down equally and now I'm just draping it over here one side like that Now I'm taking this longer part that is hanging down from the New York Brides and I'm pulling this one over to this side 
and this you basically you could you could just leave that because if you do not need the extra volume here and if you do not want this extra color here then you can skip that step completely okay but i want to have that color because it sort of it picks up that green here in the dreams come true scarf and i just love green and it gives me such a good vibe and it is just an extra eye catcher and sparkle and i just so need that in my life so so that's what i'm doing um yeah so i'm pulling that then to the back and tying it with the rest of that scarf that I had used to uh, create that poofy thing here. But you have to be careful when you're tying it so you don't pull this loose, okay? So don't tie it super, super tight so you're not um, pulling out the poof. Okay, there we go. And all of these things that are hanging down here in the back from the two-in-one and um, from the New York Brides, it just creates a very beautiful volume kind of thing under your uh, Dreams Come True scarf. So. <laughs> so the one thing that is still left is basically the long end of the um, shiny lishes. So I'm going to pull this over and laying it down here. So I still have a hint of green here and I have a hint of green here, which I really, really like. And I have basically <laughs> the only thing that is still reminding me of the, the girl with the pearl earring is really, really, really this. Because I've totally exaggerated this part and I love it. Because honestly, the girl with the pearl earring, she's like for me, she's really boring. She's pretty and everything in, in her own like natural way. But that is, you know, it's not me. So I have to be like that. <laughs> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold, but I might come across really raspy. But um, now what? <laughs> really? Look at that. Is that cool or is that cool? I mean, I love it and I can't wait for the world to see this. Like, I'm so sorry that I'm always alone here. I should really have all of you sit here in front of me. I would love that. I really love that look. So what do you think? Let me know. <laughs> so let me just turn around for you so you can see the finished product like that and like that. But, um, <laughs> so I'm super confident. I'm feeling so good with that look. And like I said, you can always tone it down. You don't have to be me and you can still do this, you know, and it's so, it's so special. I love these colors. Look at these colors. Oh, colors make me so happy. I just could deal with colors the whole day. Uh, anyway, so let's just put the necklace back on and see what it does. I'm, I'm totally in love with that look and I know, I know, I always say that, but it's true. It's true. It is so good to be creative and I just want to invite you to go out there and to be creative and to, you know, if you do pictures with any of my wraps, please, please, if you post them, tag me. I want to see what you're doing because you inspire me too. And I've seen the change in some of you that I've been watching. <laughs> and um, I, I can see that there is more going on now. So I, it makes me so, so happy and inspires me to do more and to be more out there and to create more. So um if you want, please, if you want me to see it, please tag me so I'll see it, okay? This look you can create with all kinds of shapers, basically with all of them except the Oberproof. That is just too massive and it doesn't look good. It looks not, not good. So I think for me, for my personal liking, the Wendy is the perfect shaper for this one, but I'm a hundred thousand percent sure that you can do that even with a classic shaper or the signature shaper or definitely the cloud nine so and if you do not want to get all this volume then definitely you know why shouldn't you use a smaller one so try it out i so want to see that 
Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this. I did. I did. I couldn't wait to get in front of the camera and show you this because I've tried this now for like two days in different kinds of, you know, perfecting it. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself and uh, I hope you'll try it. And if you have any questions or if you have anything that you want to see, then um, just let me know in the comment section down below. You'll find, of course, all my social media, all my makeup, all my everything, everything I use, the links to all those scarves and to the shaper and all the information about Rapunzel. You find that in the description box as well as my uh, discount code. If you're interested in using that, I have an affiliate code with Rapunzel, which saves you 5% of your order. And besides that, I just hope you all have a very, very good and blessed day and go ahead and sparkle because there are so many reasons to sparkle in this world. You know, this world needs us. This world needs us to be bright and sparkle. So just go ahead and do that and let me know how it goes. So then come back next time. If you're not subscribed yet, please like and subscribe and um, I'll see you for my next video either on Thursday for my next private video <laughs> or for my next Rapunzel video on Monday and up until then hugs and kisses. I really love you guys. Bye.